Hello everybody and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Our heroes Link and Medley are having an intense staring contest. Well you know what, the staring contest is fun but I want to actually continue with the game so let's get going. We have the boss door over there but we don't have the boss key. The boss key is located on the lowest floor of the dungeon. This can actually be kind of tricky. We have a bottomless pit and we have stairs. What you want to do is land on the stairs, not on the bottomless pit. So grab Medley and fly towards the stairs. Okay, Link made it okay. I don't see where Medley is. I hope Medley's okay. Where did she land? Whoa, she landed on the top here. Huh. That's kind of strange. This room here is a gigantic puzzle room. We have a lot of mirrors and we have a lot of switches. Let me start by pushing mirrors onto switches. The left hand side of the room is basically a mirror image of the right hand side of the room. And it looks like right now there are only two mirrors that I can push. Those would be the two mirrors closest to the doorway that you entered the room from. Here, let me play the song while inside the treasure chest, just because that looks cool. That is just so funny looking. I love it. I love it. Okay, uh, Medley! Right, Medley. Medley is solving puzzles. Fly with Medley over here to the switch. And step on it for some sunlight. Sunlight hits that mirror and shines light over here. A medley can shine light on the treasure chest where Link is. And now Link is floating in midair. Fantastic! The other thing you want to do with medley is destroy this. That gives you access to another mirror. And actually, there's a third thing you can do with Medley. Shine light towards this platform. Link received 50 rupees! That's not bad! Let me pull this mirror into place now that it's been freed. You kind of have to pull the mirror a long way. But as you heard, the mirror is now reflecting light, and that is a good thing. With the light that Medley is reflecting, you want to use the mirror shield and destroy all of these suns. Now I have to pull this mirror a long way in order to get it into place. Oh. 
and as I said earlier, the left-hand side of this room is basically a mirror image of the right-hand side of the room. So now you have to do all of those puzzles again in reverse. Let me do the treasure chest thing again, just because I think it's cool. It almost looks like Link is underwater when he's standing inside a treasure chest. Which makes me wonder why there's no water dungeon in this game. I mean, come on, this game is all about sailing on the seas and having adventures in the ocean, but there's no water dungeon. Strange. So, Medley shines light on the doorway, she shines light on that thingy, she shines light on the treasure chest, and she's going to shine light on the suns. Or rather, she's going to shine light so Link can shine light on the suns. Oops, bad angle. Bad angle. Link received a joy pendant! Now he is filled with joy. And now we have more mirrors to pull. This mirror is actually hiding some money, so you might as well destroy these pots over here for money. Yeah, that's a fair amount of money. And I think this is the final mirror. Once we get this mirror into place, this incredibly long room is finally going to be finished. Yes, it certainly has been a while, but now the puzzle is over. Well, not over. We still have a little bit of a puzzle left. But first... Let's go inside this room that we opened. I believe you can get a treasure chart for defeating the enemies inside this room. Enemies? Hmm, I thought there were enemies inside this room. Perhaps I was wrong. Yeah, it indeed looks like I was wrong. Am I supposed to shine light on these things to make the enemies appear? Right, okay, you need to shine light to make the enemies appear. Looks like this is a repeat of the mini-boss battle where you had to fight three of these Stalfos enemies. Let me try using a bomb here, because people recommend using bombs against the Stalfos. Doesn't look like the bombs are too effective. Well, the bombs would obviously be more effective if the bombs actually hit the enemies. 
That one should do it. No, it didn't. Okay. How about that one? Perfect! Oh, I wasn't able to defeat that enemy quickly enough. Oh well. Ah, uh, and that one enemy hit me, helping out its friend. Ha! Got all three enemies at once. Okay, killed one. Looks like these two are reforming, so I'll drop another bomb. Put an end to that immediately. Okay, that wasn't that bad of a boss battle. It could have gone better. I missed like three bombs at the very beginning there, but towards the end it got much, much better. And let's see if this is indeed a treasure chart. Michael, this is a treasure chart, which will give you a piece of heart on Bomb Island. Sounds fantastic, Bob. Now back to this room. Let's finish with this really, really long mirror puzzle. As you might have noticed, we have a face at the end of this room. Sort of like the face in the main room of the first floor. What you have to do is shine light onto both eyes of the face. Looks like I climbed the wrong platform. Let's climb this platform. Alright, so I have access to another room! And just like the previous room, this room is basically a humongous boss battle. I'm going to equip the Deku Leaf here because we have two of the blue bubbles. If these guys hit me, Link will be unable to use items or weapons. So it's better to defeat the blue bubbles before defeating the main enemy. Unfortunately, it's kind of difficult because the Deku Leaf is the only thing which can attack the blue bubbles. So you need to be close enough to L-target them, but far enough away so that they can't turn around and hit you. And Link really wants to L-target the other enemy, not the blue bubbles, so it's difficult because of that as well. Okay, okay, now for the main enemy! I think this enemy is also susceptible to the trick where you use ice arrows and then the skull hammer. Let's switch to ice arrows. Hmm, this, this is not working. It must be because he has a shield. Alright, hit him from behind. Okay, yeah, the ice arrows thing does not work against those enemies, but no matter! After you defeat it, you get the big key. 